Good day everyone. Our lesson for today is all about the simple interest and simple discount. Let's have here an introduction. A question, what comes to your mind when you hear the word interest? Anyone? That's right. It is refers to the fee or payment for the use of money. So we have the interest. Okay. Payment or fee. All right. Okay. Interest rates are usually expressed in percent of the money amount borrowed or lent, deposited, or even invested. For instance, there are certain um, entity may charge a 10% per year on money borrowed for a car or even a housing loan no? uh, for items. No? So 10% is interest rate per year the entity or individual who lends the money is called the lender or the creditor and the one who borrows the money is referred to as the what lendy or debtor okay who borrows money all right Let's move to the concept of simple interest. Alright, when we say simple interest, it is usually used for short borrowing, such as obtained for less than a year, uh, 90 days, a month, or even 3 months, and so on. However, there are transactions where the periods involve more than a year such as one and a half year one and three fourths year or even three years all right so for the simple interest is determined using these three factors so we have these three factors to be considered first we have the so-called principal When we say principal, it refers to the amount borrowed, deposited, or invested. Again, the amount borrowed, deposited, or invested. Okay? Uh, we denote the principal with a capital letter P. Alright? The second factor we have the rate of interest. Okay? Rate of interest. What do you mean by that? It refers to the percentage of the principal per year percentage of the principal per year okay it is generally expressed in terms of what of course percent okay uh, we will denote the rate of interest with the capital letter r this one Okay, and the last factor we have the time. Okay, time is represented by capital T and this refers to the length of the length of time or period. From the date the loan is made to the date the loan becomes due or payable. Kung kanus asya mahuman o kanusapugkamag bayad. Alright? 
The time is usually calculated on a per year basis. Right? And uh, also, I would like to add, uh, simple interest is denoted as the capital I. Okay, so we have that. Okay? So it is the interest charge on the principal for the entire air duration. Interest charge for the entire duration. Okay? And here's the formula in getting the simple interest. Okay? Simple interest is equal to principal times the rate times the time. Or we can simply write this as I is equal to P times R times T. Or pwede ra po no? I is equal to P times R times T. So we will be using this formula in getting a simple interest. Let's have an example. We have here example number one. A man borrowed 25,000 pesos for two and one-fourth years at 8% per year. Find the amount of simple interest. By simply using the formula, we can find the amount of simple interest. But first, let's write the given. Okay? So the given is, our principal or P is equal to, Pila? 25,000 kay mauman iyang gi hulam no and our rate is equal to pila 8% right and our time is equal to pila man so we have this 2 and 1 fourth years okay so to find we need to convert the percent into decimal. How? By simply dividing the percent by 100. Okay? So, 8, 8 divided by 100, that is equal to 0 0.08. So, kanina dahil atong gamiton for the rate. No, in solving the simple interest. After that, same with the time. Kay fraction man na, no? Okay? No, so, ato lang sa i-change into decimal. Ang ato lang i-divide is the numerator divided by the denominator. So, you have that. 1 divided by 4, that is 0.25. Okay? Plus 2, kay naamang kay 2 years na daan. So, we have 2.25 years. Kana lang po da itong gamiton to find that's years, ha? Okay. So, ato nang gamiton to find the simple interest. After that, substitute the values in the formula. Our formula is, we have this. I is equal to, our principal is 25,000 times 0 0.8 as the, in, as the rate or the interest rate. And the time, we have 2.25. So, this is equal to our simple interest is equal to 4,500 pesos. Okay, so that's it. We have here example number two. Mr. Reyes obtained a loan of 45,000 pesos from a credit union that charges 8.5% simple interest for three and one half years. Determine the A, the amount of interest per annum and letter B, total amount of interest due on the loan. First, let's find the given. So the given is 
our principal is equal to 45,000. Our rate or the interest rate is equal to 8.5%. And our time, this is equal to 3 and 1 half years. Let's solve first letter A. Okay, so we have letter A. Before solving, let's convert or change first the percent into decimal. See, maragya pon tong miyagi no 8.5 i divide sa 100. So we will get 0.085. Okay. Then, solve. Okay, by simply using the formula. So we have I is equal to. P times R times T. Substitute. This is equal to 45,000 pesos times 0.085 nga rate niya times Pila man atong time nga gamiton? Is it this one or not? Yes, you're right. Dili. Kaya nga naman. Ang question for letter A is the amount of interest Per annum, when we say annum, yearly. Pila yang interest, yearly. So we need to use one as our time. Right? So you have that. By simply multiplying the three, we will get pilaman 3,825 pesos. Mao na amount nga interest sa isa ka tuig or yearly alright so let's move to letter B for letter B the question is the total amount of interest due on the loan same rang formula atong gamiton of course but uh, let's just uh, convert this into decimal lang sa so that is equal to pilaman that is 3.5 no so we divide the gapon ang 1 divided by 2 so that is 0.5 plus 3 so we get 3.5 so kana atong gamiton nga time because the question is the total amount of interest naman all right so same formula i is equal to p times r times c so this is equal to 45000 times 0 0.085 times 3.5 and we will get pilaman i multiply we will get 13,387.5 so this is now our total simple interest for 3 and 1 half years nga na i charge nga 8.5% of a loan of 45,000 Okay? Am I clear? I hope it's clear. I do hope you learned something today. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.